Hey, this is Bud. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Alpine Stars Tech Air 5 airbag system. So you might be asking, Buck, aren't you afraid that that thing is going to go off by accident? And I say no. No, I'm totally confident in this fine Italian engineer. So I've had my Tech Air 5 airbag now for about a week. I've worn it numerous times with all kinds of different jackets. Well, like two, because that's all I own, really. And um, so far, I gotta say, it's pretty damn comfortable. It's unobtrusive. I kind of forget that I have it on most of the time, except for the fact that it's got this pretty beefy uh, back pad uh, built into the thing, in addition to the airbag. And that feels like you've got an ironing board attached to your back, which might sound terrible, but it's actually kind of nice because it keeps me sitting up, keeps me sitting straight. Fix my scoliosis. I don't have scoliosis, but um, I hear that you can get that with uh, drinking too much Diet Coke. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. You might be asking as well, whoa, what's happening? God. A missing child alert. It's not that I don't have empathy, it's just that I'm a sociopath and I, I don't have empathy. But that was a missing child alert that just came over my phone and my watch. It scared me half to death. This kid is like 500 miles away from here. I don't know what is that thing that just happened, but dear God. Anyway, what was I saying? Who am I? <sighs> It's a good thing I got this air vest on that would never just go off like Anyway. I actually have no idea what I was saying because that scared the living shit out of me. Like everything just started vibrating. It's like driving a Vespa. You might also be asking, is it overkill to be wearing uh, an airbag jacket on a scooter? And to that I say, no, I don't think so. I'll, I'll, I'll Google it, but I don't, I don't think so. And here's why. See these assholes driving? Now, I, I drive a car, right? A truck, to be fair. And look at this guy behind me. Seriously, look at that. Can you see him? He's in the mid- he's, he's like, got his line- Like, I'm not gonna have an airbag vest when there are people like this asshole driving behind me. Please. Give me two. It's because of assholes like this that I wear an airbag vest. That's why. Here's the thing, though, with the airbag vest. With this particular airbag vest, if she hits me from behind, the thing will go off and protect my back. That's one of the advantages of, of this system as opposed to some other systems. This thing has gyroscopes and horoscopes and all kinds of scopes that will detect that you've been hit from behind and it'll go poof, like you've seen, and um, and and hopefully save my shit in, a, in an accident when this drunk behind me slams into me at 60 miles an hour. There's probably nothing that could save me from that, to be honest, but hey, you know what? I'm trying here. I'm trying. Now let's go talk about the vest. All right, I'm not going to dilly-dally here. This is the Tech Air 5 airbag thing by Alpine Stars. It looks like this. I'm going to put it on. I'm freezing, so I'm going to just, let's just I just get it on. Anyway, so, so you just you just put it on, you zip it up, sort of, and then when you when you do this thing, that thing lights up. It lets you know that it's working. It's working. It's working in that you know, if I were on the scooter and something happened and I crashed, it would puff up and hopefully save my life. It's not going to do it just standing here because the technology is so good that it knows that I'm just standing here. So it's not just going to go. Oh, anyway, this is what it looks like on. Ladybug says it's uh, quite slimming. I think I look like a sausage, uh, $800 technologically advanced sausage from Italy, but that's just me. This is what it looks like if I do a little spin. 
Now, you should never do that in a jacket like this because it's got the gyroscopes and it could accidentally go off. I don't ever think that it would do that with this, but you know, stranger things. Have I'll tell you a little bit about the technology. This thing will go off in 25 milliseconds after a crash. So you get hit by Karen from the back because she's texting the manager or Brad, the techno bro, being like, bro, the techno stocks are like, I'm a, uh, bro. Yeah, you get the point. 25 milliseconds, bam, boom. From what I understand, it's like 190 milliseconds to blink an eye. So what I'm saying is, it's fast, boom. So, you know, when Karen slides up behind you and rams your ass, you're gonna be good. I don't know what I'm saying here. The battery life is supposed to be something like 30 hours. So you could, what's your problem? You got 30 hours worth of riding before you have to recharge it. If you have to recharge it, I guess that's another four hours that you have to be plugged in to stop it. Why do I always film at the airport? Where can I move that there's no airports? Alpine Stars has an app for the vest, so you can go in and see the battery level and you can change the modes from street to racing, and I'll tell you about that in a second. And unlike any Bluetooth thing that Piaggio has ever invented, it actually works. Like I said, it's got two modes. It's got street mode, so it'll go off anytime you get hit or you fall or you crash. And it's got race mode, which I assume you're never gonna use on a scooter. But hear me out, if you wanna do a track day on your Vespa, you put it into race mode and what it does is it won't fire itself off if you fall down at like five miles an hour like you might do in pit row on your Vespa. Yeah. Maybe the most important statistic or whatever is that Alpine Star says this thing will reduce impact forces from a crash by 95%. That seems like a, a lot to me. I know math, I know percentages, and 95 seems like a lot. It's like, what, almost 96. The back alone has the protection of 18 CE-rated class one back protectors. 18, I guess nine class two back protectors. Don't quote me on that. I don't know, I think that's, I think that's right, but that's a lot for your back, which is good. Because it has the app, every time you crash, it sends data to Alpine Stars so they can improve their algorithm. So the more you crash, the more you save. I don't know. What do I? Son of a bitch! I'm gonna hop back on the scooter and head home because I'm freezing. So won't you join me? If you got any value from this video, <clears throat> uh-huh. Um, would you hit that thumbs up button down there in the in the basement? Because uh, that really helps the algorithm from what I hear. I don't know what the algorithm is, but I want to help it. And I want you to help it too. Join me in helping the algorithm by um, giving me a thumbs up. Wow, this weather just turned from shitty to what the f***. I know you can't see it very well in the camera, but uh, it's a hurricane. It's not really but it sucks. Okay, wind and rain and... Well, this might be part two of my uh, review on the Alpine Stars Bogota jacket. See how it holds up. I've got the rain liner inside and um, I'm warm enough to a certain extent, I think. No, I'm not, I'm freezing, but I didn't put the thermal liner in because I'm a moron. I thought it was gonna clear up, but it, it's not, um, how do you say, clearing up? Hi. I can't see anything out of my thing here. There we go. Oh, that's much worse. Anyway, let's wrap this thing up. Oh my goodness. Does the Alpine Stars Tech Air 5 airbag system get the bug splot of approval? <laughs> yeah, you know it does. I mean, I can't really tell you how it does in a crash. Oh my God, I think I'm about to tell you how it does in a crash. I can't even hear myself think right now. I can't imagine that you can hear me talk. Oh, it's clearing up. No, that's not. For under $800, you're getting a little bit of peace of mind. You're getting uh, protection for your back in case you get rear-ended, which I think is probably one of the most likely scenarios on a scooter. That and getting pulled in front of. 
um, you know, cut off type thing. The the money it could potentially save you in hospital bills, all joking aside, is probably worth the $800 investment. Now, I understand that not everyone in the world has $800 to blow on an Inspector Gadget Fest. I get it. But if you do have the money, I would certainly consider investing in it. You put it on, you barely even know it's there. You wear a jacket over it, no one can see it, no one's gonna make fun of you, who gives a shit if they do? If you don't have the $800 to spend on a ridiculous inflatable balloon vest, maybe consider investing in some upgraded armor for whatever jacket you're wearing. You know, see if you can go from one CE level to another uh, to improve your chances. I think one of the most important things is consider a really good back protector because uh, you can get a new arm, you can get new shoulders, but you, you really, you got like one back that, 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 that you really just can't get, you can't get a new back. I and mean, once that back goes, you're, you're, you're screwed. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not gonna buy a vest, at least consider upgrading your armor, or if you don't have any, get some. I'm not gonna turn this into a channel that just preaches safety and stuff. I just want you all to be safe. And, uh, and if you can afford it, you know, buy the best safety gear you can get. And buy shit everything else, you know? But buy the best safety gear you can get. Tell me in the comments if you'd ever wear an airbag vest or something like it. And if not, I'd be curious as to know why. I'm sure that there are valid reasons not to. Price, of course, being one of them. But, you know, everyone has their shit. So let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear. Um, I told you what I think. Tell me what you think. Is that a horse? <laughs> That's a big ass dog right there. Yeehaw. Anyway. <laughs>